Greetings, and it is time for another Lazy Game Reviews Quickie, and I know it's been a long time since I've done one of these, but as I'm having less and less time here recently, these types of reviews have become more and more appealing. Plus, I just play a lot of games, and not all of them are old. I'd still like to give some opinions on them, and a prime example of that here today is a little indie game known as Prown. At least I assume that is how it's said. That's how I'm going to say it. This is a very unique little downloadable title for the PC by Joost van Dongen. I hope I said that right. Uh, he's the same guy who was also involved in other indie games such as De Blob, Swords and Soldiers, Awesome Knots, and a couple of other things. Apparently this one has been in the works for quite a long time, and as you can see, that time has paid off because this game looks amazing. And not only that, it plays very, very well. It's extremely polished. Uh, I guess the easiest way that I could describe this game is just very strange. <laughs> it's a racing game, that's for sure, and it's very much point-to-point -point circuits, except you're not a car, you're a thing that spins around looking like a ball and traveling along a rail. The whole point is to beat the opposition and dodge these geometric shapes, whether they be very smooth-looking spheres or just whatever the frick these things are. I don't really know what they are, and I don't really care because this is awesome. It, it doesn't remind me of uh, too many other games, really, that are out there, and that's one of the big appeals of this. It does remind me a little bit of a game called Ballistics, which was um, a, another sort of rolling kind of thing, and also some of the gameplay and uh, some of uh, Episode One Pod Racer. Uh, Star Wars game, actually. You know, the parts where you go in zero-G and you're spinning around constantly and trying to uh, dodge these rocks and such. Uh, it's n really nothing like that, but it does sort of remind me of that as far as the spinning around. It's super simple. You just control it with the arrow keys and you have the uh, left shift key by default, which will engage a boost of some kind, which builds up the longer that you survive or don't bump into anything. If you bump into something, that boost goes down. So really, it's just a matter of going through this as efficiently as possible and, of course, beating the opposition. Uh, it has a championship mode, it has single races, and it also has a multiplayer mode where apparently up to four players can actually play this, and it splits the screen. So I've tried it with two players. It's actually pretty friggin' fun. The controls definitely take some getting used to because they're with the arrow keys, and that's a, you know, a digital input, so you don't have any kind of real analog movement there. Although there is some sort of joystick support, which I haven't tried yet. So the graphics are great, the music is great, the gameplay is very solid, very polished. But the only real problem I have with it is the repetitiveness. I mean, that's just sort of the nature of a racing game. So whether or not that's kind of your thing, if you really like memorizing tracks and such, this would probably be a game to check out. It only has like four or five tracks and uh, one extra if you pay for the game. We'll get to that in a second. One great thing about it, though, is that you can download and actually create your own tracks if you have 3D Studio Max. You can get those on the website prown-game.com, and that's also where you can download the game. And here's the best friggin' part about this game is that it is a pay-what-you-want game. In fact, you can also just pay nothing if you don't want to pay anything, although this is definitely worth paying something for. The free version is the full game. Of course, like I mentioned earlier, it's missing one track, so you get an extra track. It's also got online leaderboards and high scores. You have unlockable difficulty modes, which is uh, what you'll want to be playing the championship for. It basically just goes faster and faster and faster, and it's actually not that hard to run. So if you have a halfway decent computer, you know, the past four years or so, then you'll probably be able to play it. I totally recommend downloading Prown, Prawn, Prune, Prune, whatever this game is called. It's awesome, and I like it. 